Hey everybody. Good night. I'm doing this for the first time by myself. And I'm with my guest today. Um, huh? Martha Hebert. Yeah, called him. Um, Don Hugh Mitchell. Running a little late. Today is going to be a test day. So. Turn on that man on this on this on this card for it. Just press on press the next one. Press again. That's good. How do I make this big duty? Touch it, touch it, this key. Is it on? Testing. Huh? Yeah. 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 So I guess we're up. we're on now. Um, welcome to another edition of Craig Butler's Football Unfiltered, and um, we are happy to to discuss this evening some of the, the pressing issues that are going on in the world of football and as it relates to our players at Phoenix All Stars Football Academy, and we're managed by the Phoenix Sports Management Group. I um, just want to say thank you for all our supporters. And please forgive me for taking so long to to come back on the show. We've been very busy, working really hard in preparation for this year, uh, which proves um, to be a very positive and powerful year for us. Well, Liam Bailey's back in the in the the, the football world, playing again, uh, recovered from injury, and his last game was very encouraging. Uh, did you get to see it, Louis? You? No, I'm You're playing much at a time. Yeah. yeah. But <coughs> I saw it. <coughs> and um very encouraging game. Chippy was back in the saddle and rearing to go. Um doesn't like the bench. Never will like the bench. He was always a guy, the type of guy that wants to play. So um being on the bench a couple of times really got him riled. So the minute he got on the pitch he showed what he could do. And I'm sure he'll be featuring much more in the, the, the months to come. Um, we have the, a, a, a very, very big um, announcement to make shortly. Um, and also, I'm looking forward to a new sponsor joining, joining um, the Leon Bailey um, franchise. Um, can't say what sponsor is yet, but... So for suffice it to say, it's going to be very exciting. Um, I'm here this evening without Brandon. Brandon is home. Um, but he's taught me how to use this thing. And you know I'm a very difficult guy to learn. So I, I forget things very quickly. So it's very hard. Um, we have with us Matthew Hibbert, who is uh, one of our center forwards. And 
uh, number nine, as well as one of our wing backs, right back. And with us also, Don Hugh Mitchell, otherwise known as Dovey, I think our number one central defender in the academy at this time. Dovey recently turned 18, right? Yes. And you, Matthew? Yeah. So both here are now legal adults. Yeah? Ready to take the next step. So, Dovey will be going to Belgium and to Toronto shortly. Um, we're looking forward to Dante Peralta also going. He's going this weekend. Um, let's send an invite over to to Dante Peralta. Um, let's invite a guest. Dante, copy to clipboard. Um, Dante Peralta. So he'll see the message and come on shortly. Um, we're back here. All right. So, so they have, they're helping me. Um, General, big, big baller. Baller Leon, baller high rating. Thank you, Tevin Campbell, Alex Rieg. What the F? Going white. Where? Where? Where are players? Going where? Play? Why, why are players invite why are players are invited um Dante Duncan do we miss when they vote do we miss when the boys uh yeah, yeah and also there's Dante Duncan as well um who will also be leaving shortly um why aren't my players invited that's probably what you're asking us um ask us the question again why have Phoenix players for last 20 years been fought out, blocked, hated, and kept to the side by the powers that be in football in Jamaica? You know, it's a very simple thing. Um, always has been. And unfortunately, until the rules change or how the, the administration um, get selected for the JFF. I don't think it will change very soon. Um, we we represent change, we represent um, opportunity and it's very difficult to to deal with these situations. I've been told that oh this was just the first call and that there will be second secondary um, trainings over a period of six weeks um, but again you leave the best players that you have available out and you go looking in the local Premier League um, which we won't play because we believe that the level is too low um, and it's not an opportunity for the boys to 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 be challenged you know we play practice games against the Premier League teams and you know we haven't lost any actually we lost one we, we went to be honest we went to Arnett Gardens one hour late for a game we had some challenges with our administration and we got there late and you guys got your, your tails handed to you on a platter got a good proper tree love whipping which they deserve players were one hour late um, the boss was late there Blame it all on Summer, our administrator. She drives the bus, so tough. I don't like feeling unprofessional, but she has to take the blame for that. And we move on um, from there. Yeah. Um, Whisper should be in the team under 20 squad. Well, let me tell you some of our players. This is Don Hugh Mitchell, right? Don Hugh Mitchell. Can you can we can you share a little bit about your history with us? How long have you been at Phoenix? Um, two years. Two years now. And what position you play? Um, center work, defensive midfield, and center forward. And how tall are you? Six one. And you're now eighteen. Yes. Yeah. Well, who was the starting defender when we played against Aston Villa? 
um, me and um, Brad and Rick. Yeah. And what was the score in that game? 74. And Aston Villa is what the the FA Cup champions, U U18 or U19 for England, right? Yes. What is, does the FA Cup champions mean? Do you know? Do you? Well, you have two leagues that run in England. You have the league, so you have the Premier League teams, then the second division, then the third division, and then you have the FA Cup. And the FA Cup is a knockout where everybody plays against each other. So you can have a, a Premier League team playing against a sixth division team or something like that. Yeah? So you have a true reflection of a knockout phase. Just like you'd have the Jackie Bell knockout back in the day. You understand? And so, and then you have the league, which we play, they, so Aston Villa beat everybody to win the okay. FA Cup. What was the score in that game when we played them? How much did we lose, man? We didn't lose. Okay. What was the score? 7-4. 7-4. Okay. Interesting. Right? Um, and did we play the league champions as well? It was Crystal Palace, eh? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the score in that one? 5-0. Five, 5-0. Five, they beat us 5 then? We, we won 5 then. We came all the way from Jamaica. Went to England. And won five zero, yeah? yeah. And you played central defender. Start. Yeah. Finish. Yes. Okay. Did we play any other teams when you were there? Can you guys remember some of the other teams, Martin? Ready. Ready. Yes. Port Vale. Anyone else? Oh, they played the tournament with Brentford. Play a tournament with Brentford. And then, uh, did you play against Brentford itself? Yeah? With Brentford in there in the tournament, right? What was the score in that game? Um, two. One, three, then? Yeah. Okay, so you did play against Brentford. And so the, t the, the tournament was successful, yeah? In that you left Jamaica as an academy team. We arranged the games thanks to Jaden Sancho's father, um, Sean Sancho, who helped us very much. And thanks also to Giles from Brookhouse, he also helped us to arrange some games. And thanks to Nicola Bicknell and Shelley McFarlane, who led the contingent that went, and Casey and Haley. So you guys went in and you did well. Um, whisper. How many goals did he score? Let's try and send an invitation over to him. I'm going to call his dad. I'm going to send an invitation over to him right now. Um, whisper. Here, let me whisper. Whisper. I think I can get him online. Because he doesn't sleep a lot anyway. Yeah. And we also, uh, Jordi Ison is also here. We've, since that, we've gone on to, to, um, yeah. since that, we've gone on to, to go have American teams come down here, right? How many players were selected to go on the MLS trials? Six so far, and also Jade and Puddy went to England as well. Yeah. Dear Mills and Jade Clark. Yeah. What about um? What about? Let me ask Andy. Andy. Let me call him. Andy's the chief scout at um at Chicago Fire in the MLS. He came down and he saw the players as well. So 
I'd like to bring in some of the, the MLS scouts to speak a little bit. Hey, Andy. Yes, quick. Tell me. I am on a, a live with my boys, right? I wanted to get, would you mind coming on it and giving us some feedback about what you thought about the players when you were here? Uh, on No, it's, um, I'll send you the link. I just click on it. All right, send it to me. All right, Andy. I'm going to do that right now. Thanks. All right, so we're going to bring on Andy, who's from Chicago Fire. Um, let me just put it on now. Me forward the link to Andy. Now, Andy was one of the, 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 the scouts from the MLS teams that came down and looked at these players. And the reason I'm doing this, really, is to set the background for why these players should have been included in the national under 20 call-ups and even if it is a first the first opportunity they should have gone immediately for them and what the the opinions of really top scouts people with an eye for football is going to be so let's hear it from andy who is Chief Scout at, at um, Chicago Fire. He also has an academy of his own in Florida, Heron Academy. And he has several um, links throughout the Caribbean. He's Costa Rica and played for the Costa Rica national team and did very well in, in the MLS as a player as well. So we will have him on, right? Um, yeah. Thirteen players in the thirty man squad. Oh thirteen Cavalier players in the in the thirty man squad. Um I don't know what to tell you. What I'll do is I'll take a bite of my pizza because I'm hungry. But I've met my nerves shake, but respect still. Most of the known quality of Cavaliers. Just saying that we have a lot more quality here, especially at the younger levels, and they should be given the opportunity. Dubi, how many times you played against Cavaliers? Six, six times. Have you ever lost to them? Yeah, I think one time. One time. But who are we playing against? Are we playing against your age group? Who are playing against? The Premier League team. Yeah. And so, last three times they played their Premier League team with our academy team. What was the score? Can you remember, Matthew? Draw. Draw? Draw, draw, win, win. Draw, draw, and win, win. So, it means then that our academy team and Cavaliers were the champions last year in the Premier League. Our academy team can go toe to toe with them any day. All right, um, Dante Duncan, Beef, why not play a U20 match against Cavaliers? I don't think they have a full U20 squad, and I don't think they'll want to play us because they're scared. Um, let's talk about this. Hey, your guest here. Let's see who's here. Let's get in Ayo. How do I get them in? Hi, Ayo. Can you hear us? Talk. Touch, touch him. Go, go work again. Mm -hmm. Add to stream. Can you hear us now? Beef, can you hear Yeah, we can hear you now, bro. Oh, uh, hello. Hi, coach. I do be Bye, Bye them. Hi, guys. Love you, man. <laughs> How's it cool? It's not easy, you know, but we are getting used to it. We're getting there. All right. So, you're now in Colorado? Yes, yeah. we are. At the MLS team there. What's the name of them? What's the MLS team name? Colorado Rapids. Colorado Rapids, 
and you guys have come up through the Phoenix system. You, you went on, on, on test now, two, two MLS clubs there. Um, I want to make sure you, you get seen. Um, what was your preparation like at Phoenix and what was your journey thus far? Um, I would say it was a lot of hard work, you know. We had to focus on, you know, what we are working towards, you know, train every day. Sometimes, most of the time, we train two days and um, two times in a day. Went on a tour, you know, for the exposure and all of that, you know, and it's been great so far. I think the Phoenix Astar Academy developed very well mentally and physically in every way possible. So you, you guys realize in all of the stuff that we're saying to you and pushing with you and telling you, you know, it, 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 it's real, you know? It wasn't yeah, just yeah. a joking thing. It's a Buster, no, Buster saying hi to you. He's in the text. Oh, hey, Buster. Buster, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, so I'm going to forward this to Buster too. The Buster, so if you want to come on, he can come on. Um, what's up, Bug Bugsy? No, he's not going to manage in our training because our training has a high level of technicality and intensity, so it's going to be difficult. Um, so, respect Bugsy for that. Um, question. Um, Ayo. Yeah. What is the difference thus far with the training and uh, at um, Colorado and the training you had here with us? Um, I would say in Phoenix, um, we train um, physically better, and you know, yeah, because over here it's more about technical abilities and all of that, sure. you know. But over at Phoenix, it's an addition of physically, you know, technically, mentally, you know, it's an all-inclusive um, package, you know. But over here, it's not bad as well, you know. It's what we've been experienced, what we've been exposed to. You know, it's not something new because we've been doing that regularly in the academy. Yeah. And you, you think that, how, how, how are you standing up with the, the players? I mean... Of course, it's a, a, a Premier League team. We're just a, a, an academy in Jamaica here. We're doing our best to ensure that things we learned from Europe, we're incorporating it and combining it with all the, the physical and track training we have here. But um, what do you think the, the, the advantages to your training that you had here gives you when you're there? Yeah, like I said, you know, it's nothing new, so it's something I've been doing before. If I've not been doing it before, and then I come here, and then I'll be like, oh, I don't understand what's going on, you know. Like, it's all new to me, but the good thing is I've been exposed to it. I know, you know, some technical drills, some shooting drills and all of that. So by the time I go to train, it's nothing new. I'm like, oh, I have an idea before, and then I execute well. How do you feel about hearing that no Phoenix players were called for Jamaica's on the point? To be honest, that's very sad. That's very sad because... And you're not... Oh. Yeah, because I've, I've seen it, you know, like, I've seen it. We've played a lot of Jamaica Premier League teams, you know, and then, you know, we win most of the games, you know. I'm confident if Phoenix should play in the in the league, definitely it's going, there's going to be a good performance. I'm very sure about that because, you know, we've proved it, played against top teams, and then, you know, we win most of the games and some games we don't win the referee just comes and you know he just decides to give away the game and all of that you know so yes yeah. for me i believe phoenix has great players great and amazing players phoenix has built a lot of good players and i believe it's high time they have to give them the opportunities they have to give them the opportunities the players have worked so hard for it and then they deserve it yeah that's the wonderful thing about it right you don't like, they don't like me because this room, everything that I own, football is not my part-time job. This is what I do for a living. I train, develop, and manage players. And so that's how I eat. Now, they don't like me, maybe because of some of the success I've had so far, 
But for the last 20 years, they've been blocking our players. Leon, can you imagine that Leon Bailey, who is now the one, if not the top, the top player in the national team now, Leon Bailey was not allowed a call-up for the national under-20 either. They did not call Leon. And he was in Genk at that time, right? He was in Genk at that time, and he came home to Jamaica on vacation and was available here. He could have walked on the pitch. He wouldn't have to pay a dollar for his plane fare. And they didn't call Leon, nor did they call Kyle. And both of them were in Genk at the time doing very well. No. So it, it, it's like history is repeating itself, you know? It's just now it's repeating it on a wholesale level. When you look at players like Kemar Reed, who's now in, in Florida and doing so, in, in Floriana, in um, Malta, the top club in, in, in Malta right now, and he's doing so well that they call him Batman. He's scoring every day. And Kimo Jackson, who is at, at Sirens in the Premier League in Malta as well. And none of those players have ever been called for Jamaica's national team, simply because they're from Phoenix. So <laughs> it, it's not good. That's you sad. Know? That's sad, you know. You know? And, and I want to apologize to you guys, you know. I really do because it's almost a, a curse. If you come to Phoenix, they're going to fight you. You're going to get opportunities. You're going to get developed properly, and you're going to go to the, the club to, to become a professional footballer. But your own countrymen are going to fight you and block you. You know? Yeah. That's really sad. You know? It is. Really sad. I mean, we we. <laughs> We went into the money cup and in one season, <laughs> one season, we <laughs> were playing in the money cup all these years. So Mona and Mona is, is, is dominating and beating up all these teams. And then they throw us out, they block us. You know, it's. I have to apologize to you guys. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know what else to say. Oh, it, it's all right, you know. It's part of life. There are a lot of challenges. I mean, can I read? Can you imagine how it feels to be performing at the level that Kemar Reed is performing, and they're not calling him for the national team? Let me see if he's awake. See if I can get him. Yeah. So, I mean, poor Jordy. Jordy went to bed. Jordy is also one of the agents that we work with. Jordy is instrumental in working with us. He came down here as well. So, um, we want to have him in our lineup here tonight for a brief moment. So, so tell me, let's see if there are, who else? Can I really deserve a call up, man, man on form, man on form, true for true. Yeah, it's sad. Where is Mona number seven? That is Ken Aldo. Bro, he's currently at Cincinnati on test. In the in the, the the major league soccer MLS in America and he's doing well, um, you know. But again, he won't be called, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah, the MLS doing well. You go on trial, them like you, and they're performing. Maybe he need, he needs to do a little more, but he's there and he's doing well. But you're not going to call him for under 20 and you're calling schoolboys. You know? Dijon Richards has not been called up. Let me see if I get Richie. His dad. His dad is living. He's fine. Yeah. He's fine. He's about, his dad is about to, to just do what I did, which, is, which I hope he doesn't do. Which is to just say, okay, you don't want him in Jamaica? No problem. Just won't play you know and later on we will lose years 
you know. So, so talk to me. Um, what is it like there in Colorado? Um, what are you referring to football or the weather and all of that? Where have you seen the mountains? Have you? Yeah, yeah, a lot of mountains, you know, a lot of mountains. I think last week we trained in the weather about negative 15. Negative cold. 15? Yeah, last week. Can't oh. feel our bodies. It was extremely cold. We had to train indoor. Even indoor, it was still very cold. Wow. Yeah. But wow. for, the past, for the past two, three days, it's been better, you know. We've had a better weather. Okay. I'm very proud of you guys. Very proud of you. You know, the fact that, okay, yeah, I coach you, I develop you, I got you the opportunity, all of that. But to see that you're sticking it out, you're going strong, you're fighting, you're keeping up the work. Proud of you. Proud of you. Finish, finish can never die. Never die. <laughs> proud of you. What do you guys think about Leon's game the other day? Did you get a chance to see it? I know we yeah. are training at the time. That's the thing, you know. Most of us, well, apart from me, because I watch it, because I have to critique what he does and, and, and give him feedback. But what's the next Yeah, I want to, yeah, yeah, and coach at the same time. I've been watching it while I'm coaching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on the phone, and I'm watching Leon's game, and I'm coaching. <laughs> you know, so, you know, this is a good life to have. Keep up the good work, Craig. You're doing an excellent job with these youngsters. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Somebody else is there, too. Let's see who is there. Hold on. How do I do that, guys? Whoa. Stop where? Here? All right. Guys, I'm not so good at this. Is so Brandon good. on leave? Uh, no, no don't know. leave. I want to somebody else. No, I was asking about Brandon. No, Brandon is, is is home. He's you remember he has a little daughter now, so yes too. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Um, I'm trying to get down here to see who's there. Ah, there's somebody. Okay, so Andy. Hey Andy is there. But no, 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 Good evening, Andy. Yes, Craig. Great to have you, my friend. <laughs> it's always a pleasure, man. It's always a pleasure. You recognize these guys in the... Hey, Andy. What's up, Andy? Yeah, man. I recognize them. How you guys doing? I heard you guys doing great in Colorado, huh? Yeah, yeah. we are. We are good. Definitely. <laughs> Listen, keep pushing, man. It's not, a, it's not the greatest weather for you guys since you're in Jamaica. Yeah. Um, I was there back in uh, for Christmas after I uh, departed from Jamaica. I went straight to Colorado and it was it was it was it was tough, man. It was tough. So I <laughs> I can I can imagine what you guys going through right now. Yeah, the altitude. Yeah, 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 yeah. The altitude. The altitude yeah, affects your breathing, yeah. you know, and all of that. Yeah. I I almost died, man. I, I went to the mountain and I was. I couldn't breathe, man. I'm serious, man. My, my, I was like, wait, what is this? I, I, I need to stop. I couldn't, I can't keep walking because if I would have make one more step, I wouldn't yeah, be true. talking to you guys. It was horrible. <laughs> like, and then, and, uh, it was horrible. It was horrible, Craig. Especially that we're getting old, you know, it's, it's worse. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> you know the good thing, though, guys? You, you're training the boiling hot sun. So, you're not even sweating there. You shouldn't be able to. You shouldn't even get tired. No. You don't get tired, don't you? You just we can't breathe. Do, yeah, well, it's just, um, it's just, you know, the breathing. We're just getting used to it now. Like, it's much better. Have you adapted? You adapted? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's good. Make sure you don't come back. No, no. we don't want to either. Yeah, make yeah, sure you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This opportunity. Fight for everything. Fight for every tackle. Every. Hey, listen, be the first at training. Last to leave. Mm -hmm. You know, carry the balls, make Definitely. friends, do what you need to do, bro. You know the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel smart. Andy. They got, they, they got it, man. They got that, Craig. I'm here with Duvi. Um, remember Duvi? 
Or send your yes. defense in Vila. Yeah, do we good? Mikey Jr. Junior? Mikey is a striker. <laughs> yeah, so I wanted to speak with you a little bit. As a scout, we, we, we're, we're having some challenges. It's the same challenge I had with Leon. JFF didn't call Leon for their under 20 when Leon was the star in Genk. So when he was 18 and he was playing in Genk's Premier League and doing well, they were calling little schoolboys and ignoring him. Um, they're about to start the same game again. Um, so as a scout from the MLS who have seen players at this age, give me your feedback on what you thought you saw when you came to Jamaica and saw these players play. Craig, look, it's... Um... Obviously, you know, to be in the position where I am right now, um, it's um, it, it, it is not a challenge because once you went through it and once you grow with it, and you know the challenge that you get as a as a as a young player, and uh, what this guy is going through, it's uh, it's easy for us to identify, you know, where we can find um, good players. And the the days when we were back there, we were not. Um, I mean, it didn't surprise us what these guys were doing in the condition they were doing it. And uh, we all said that you know, wherever they go, they're gonna be successful. So all they need is is they need a chance. You know, um, sometimes we ask for better environment in practice, but. This is who they are, and that's how they've been doing um, soccer, you know, or football for their life. And this is what helped them push more, you know, when they got this kind of conditions. You know, maybe the fields are not the greatest, but when they go to another club, especially Ayo and, um, and Mario, um, they see these great fields and these great conditions. So you you say, well, if I'm if in Jamaica I'm practicing in this kind of fields, how I'm not gonna be good in this that in this great in these great fields? So look, um I, all I have to say to you and, and, and the boys is that just just keep working. You guys are doing amazing. I know that Craig um we, we support him a lot. I, I still talking to the guys that were down there about you know about you guys. Um we trying to help Craig connect it with other clubs to try to help because he you guys you you got the material. The material is there. I mean, who 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 don't know about soccer cannot see this, Craig. It's just point blank. If you don't know about soccer, they will never see it. Thank you. It it's just like that. Also, a lot of these guys just need an opportunity and and some people just envy, man. People don't want to, you know, people don't want to open door for no one. Um, people may don't like what you're doing. People may know, you know, people not going to see that they're not, instead of thinking about you, they're not thinking about the the kids, you know, the, the, the guys that you're working, who you're trying to get out of the street and stuff like that. So because of all of these things that you're doing, that's the way I see it. That's the way I see it. Um, but if you, if, if somebody judges you or uh pointing finger of of all any of these kids man they just they, they're just wrong man i mean they just they they don't know anything about soccer they can't even talk or sit down with us and talk about soccer get a kid an opportunity that's it that's but that's that's, that's that's it what do you think about whisper Whew. listen i can't <laughs> Whisper, man, man, he's a freaking beast, bro. Whisper is um, among of all the, with all the respect of all the kids, because I think that everyone have a special talent on them. Um, if Whisper drop in the right place, I think he will be one of the top um forwards for Jamaica. 
if you drop in the right play in the right place. I'm I'm trying to make you right in drop in Chicago, you know. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> gonna, I'm not gonna say it out loud. I'm not gonna say it out loud, <laughs> but yes. <laughs> You know, I'm not I, gonna say it that loud, but yeah. Um, listen, it, it's just uh, it, 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 he's is he got a he got a he got to drop in the right spot, and if he drop in in the right spot, he got a he got a uh, a fantastic future, and I hope he can you know, um, I hope he can he can make it farther. If you heard that whisper was ignored for the national youth teams of Jamaica. What would you think? That is, uh, <laughs> man, that's, uh, that I, I would just call that envy. You're not looking for the benefit of the country. I would look at, I would look at like that. You, what you're looking for, you're looking, you're making things personal, not looking for the benefit of the country. How is he not going to be in the national team? That that kid need to be in the national team. There is a lot of players you have that need to be on the national can easily be on the national team. Um, we all know all these things, all these things work, but man, I, I honestly don't know who is in charge of of the national team right now. But whoever it is, need to stop, um, need to think about his country first and not about themselves. Um because he really need to be, he need that kid need to be in the national team. I, I don't care who the coach for Jamaica national team. This kid need to be in the national team, and he will be soon. Great. If he's not now, he's he will be there later. Well, remember, he has English grandparents. So the longer they take, is and the the, the more the the father gets angry, and thus, of course, is uh, you know the less. You know, everybody, you know, we love Jamaica. You know, you, you, you're from Costa Rica, so you love your country, you know? You love your country, and you want to play for your country. I, the, I, I, Craig, uh, yes, I love my country, but unfortunately... Right, yeah, I, unfor I love my country, but unfortunately, on the soccer side, um, things are managing the wrong way, you see? So that I, I don't support that. You, you need to call the national team who's ready to play and who has... Uh, the 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 uh, who who has the young the young talent players need to be there. Those that are going to help Jamaica to get bigger. Um, and and it and it and it really it really sad that I uh, you know you you mentioned this to me that uh they're not considering him to be part of the national team. To be honest, because so what does that that none of the the Phoenix players. Now listen, we have played the, the Premier League champions from last season, Cavaliers, twice. And it ended up with two draws. We've played Arnett Gardens, who is currently leading the league. And it ended up in a 4-4 draw. We played Montego Bay FC, 2-2 draw. We played against um, Waterhouse, and we ended up winning by four goals to two. You were there for that game, you remember? Right. The one in the boiling sun over at Waterhouse. Where yeah. Yep, window. yep. Yeah. And we played with Veer and we draw with Veer. Now, these are all the Premier League teams with adults, 26, 27, 28 years old playing. And these are 15, 16, 17, 18 year olds playing against them. And you have to understand whenever you play a friendly game against a Premier League team, they bring their own ref, which is one of the coaches or something. So, you know, you're not going to win. <laughs> you understand? Of but course. Because they're going to ensure you're offside when you're not offside, you know, things like that. But the truth of it is, is that they've not been able to beat us. We're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with them, with kids. Yeah? I think the, the, the oldest player that was in our squad was Ayo, and Ayo was 21. Yeah? And now, yep. now... They are not selecting these players. And it all goes back to the whole thing with the, for me, which is the qualifications for a work permit in England. You have to have 
of your country's last 15 games mm -hmm. as permit in England. Now, if all the people who are in, in the selection process in the JFF are attached to a club, then they're going to push their players so that their players can get the caps. And that leaves the better players, which are the Phoenix ones, out. And it leaves Craig Butler being a, a, a big mouth or an arrogant person or a annoying person because he calls it as it is you know yeah Meanwhile, we're moving players left right and center we're now going into costa rica no yes yeah? So we're going, yeah yeah we we listen craig you 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 have you have listen um all you guys need to just you guys need to feel national team is not the end of everything yeah it is important for the, to go to England, yes, but it's not the end of everything. Um, but the, the thing is that Phoenix is all over MLS already. Every, everybody in MLS know who who's Phoenix. I was speaking to Red Bulls, Philadelphia Union. You know, um, how was it, how was over there? You know, Andy, what 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 are the feedbacks? Man, you guys got to get in there. You got to get in there, and 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 that's that's the most important thing, man. Um, for you guys to try to Craig and, and and the rest of the crew to just focus on that. Now we now we we get in. We, you know, Craig is going into Costa Rica now. We we we're gonna we're, gonna bring, we're bringing in some players over there. Well, he's sending some players over there now. Um, and 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 that's that's just 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 about it. At the end of the day, if you guys make it somewhere else, they're gonna have to call you to the national team, regardless. Um, don't, I mean, don't, don't, you guys don't put your head down just because they're not taking you guys in consideration. Soccer today, football today is politics. Yeah. Yeah. It is politics. You guys got to worry about yourself. These people already have their own benefits on, on things and, and they don't want to share benefits with no one. Yeah. But they're not, they, they just be, because they're leaving their best players out. They're not gonna change. That's that's everywhere. Mention any country you want. My my own home, Costa Rica. It's the same. It's the same. The the my my old national teams are all players, man. Players that I play with back in the days. They're still in the national team, mm. and they don't want to bring the good talent in because of the friendship of everyone. Yeah. So don't make these things. You know, don't make these things stop you guys. Just. You know, like I told you before, man, all MLS know about Phoenix. Everybody know about all, all the scouts coming to Jamaica to scout players from Phoenix. Um, and and I'm pretty sure, I mean, Craig is in the right direction. I think, you know, just just be patient. And whenever you get an opportunity, just, just go for it. I mean, I don't have to say this to you guys. You guys got to go to go there like hungry dogs, you know? You know, just do your thing, man. And I and I know you guys are going to be very successful. I mean, when you look at it now, Phoenix has players in Germany, in Belgium, in, in, in the U.S., in, in, in France, in Malta, in Spain. I mean, we've really done some good work. And, you know, Andy, it's really an honor to have you on and, you know, to be able to, to, to have you as a, a part of our show. You know, you're I'm welcome. Still trying to figure out how to do this thing. How we do it? Let me give me a second. And you know the oh, there you go. Good job. Yeah. So, and for me, the idea is just to continue to give the best kids an, an opportunity, an opportunity to show what they can do. Look at Io and and and, and Isco there. They're in Colorado, and it's. The altitude is high and the, the conditions are different. But they're giving it their best shot every day. Absolutely. You know? And you know Absolutely. What I, I make it a point of duty. How many times have I called you, Ayo, since you, you've been there? <coughs> no. None. Not one no. phone call. Because I did my job already. I yeah. told you what to prepare for. <laughs> I told you what's going to happen. 
yeah. and put, put in all the training and all those 400 meters every evening. What do you think they were for? Is to get you ready. And I told you, when you go there, you make sure you fight with everything you have, like your life depended on it. Because it does. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So you just put in the work. Yeah. See, Andy is, is a big scout over at Chicago Fire, and he's impressed with us. And, you know, I'm looking forward to building more strong relationships like this. And we just have to keep working. We keep working. And we keep going, you know? Andy, thank you so much. The younger ones are looking forward. They're coming up to Florida. Um, yes. Bella and and um, uh, Jamani and, and, and Demo, Theo, they're all excited and ready. Who else? And Sean, all excited and ready to roll. So let's get it going. Listen, we're all excited to to um, to have the boys over here too, man. Um, I'm pretty sure that this this uh, this experience for them is going to help them to you know to see what what the challenge is going to be in the future. So. Um, Craig, Ayo, Mario, everyone in, in, in the house, guys, just keep the good work. Great things are coming up for you guys. Do not make this, um, this negative things about the national teams, um, put you down, keep working. If you keep working, they will not have any option to call you, to call you to the national team. And if not, Listen, <laughs> I was a national team player. Um, it is good to represent your country, but there's only one team pay you, and it's the club who you're playing for. <laughs> yeah. Keep that in mind. It's, it's important to play for your national, and it's a great thing, man. But at the end of the day, um, it's your club is who pay your salary. Yeah? So that, you know... If if they don't call you because if they don't call you because they don't see the talent in you, then who's running soccer in Jamaica and have a problem, big problem, serious problem. And I keep saying, I say this. I talk to a lot of um, a lot of uh, um, um, former professional players from Jamaica, uh, Damani Ralph, Andy William that plays with me in Chicago, uh, Shevar Thomas. I said, man, why, why Jamaica cannot, you know, develop stronger under 15s, under 20 national teams, under 17 national teams? And the problem is not that they don't have the talent. Is the problem? The problem is who's running it. And I talk to the people, the, the people from Jamaica like that. Jamaica is supposed to be the, one of the best national teams in the Caribbean. One of the best, why all the national teams are growing and getting better and better and better and better, but Jamaica's still right there with all them talents outside the country. What's, what's, what's going on? So you got the talent, you just don't got the coaching or the, or the inside environment. It's, it's just simple as that, man. Simple. If, if a coach don't, if teams doesn't, who the first one get fired when a coach, when a team is not given the result? The coach, right? Yeah. So if the national team, the under 15, the 17, the under 20, the under 20, not qualifying to any event, who have the problem? Simple. It's very simple. The problem comes from inside. So it's unfortunately that we got to see, because, you know, my grandma is from Jamaica, um, and and I have a ton of respect for the country, for everybody who is from Jamaica. Uh, I feel part of of the of the culture of everything. Um, and it's hurt me that having such a man tremendous athleticism, speed, ability, intensity, strength, everything that an, that in another country you can find it that they haven't taken advantage of that. And it's and it's it's really sad. That's really sad. So hopefully, you know, people in the inside of the Jamaican Federation, um, listening to what I'm saying because it's uh, it's it's really sad that 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 you guys not you know they're not they're not taking you guys in consideration. And I'm not saying this because of Craig. Yeah, 
I yeah. did it. I, I I play the game. I know how it is. I study it. I prepare myself. Um, and I'm scouting now, and I know what I, I know what I see. So, um, whoever want to criticize what I say, show me what you do, and then we can sit down and talk. <laughs> Big <party>. Big <laughs> You know, I think when we when you were here last, right? We, we went to the national team game together, Costa Rica versus Jamaica. I mean, tell me what is a system? Because I know what it is, and I've incorporated a system in Phoenix, as you can see. But many people, including the people in charge and coaching, don't understand what a system is in a football in football. Can you tell me what a system is? A system is a, I can say, is a style of playing. It's an idea that the coach have that he need to implement it into the team that he have. Um, for example, the day that we were watching the Jamaica national team, you know, we were just sitting there watching, analyzing. Um, and and I and, and I talked to the boys after, uh, and I and I mentioned that if you guys see Jamaica doesn't have any intensity, there is no urgency, there is no pace, there is nothing. The game was so slow; they were just they couldn't change the 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 the, the speed of the game. It was too slow. It was, and why do I say it's slow? Because Jamaica have fast players. From the defensive to the midfield to the forward, everyone is fast. So why Jamaica is trying to play a football where the possession is important, but what about the changing speed to go forward? The penetration pass, exactly. the long balls, you know, um, it's a game that they could have easily win. Um, but again, coach did not read the game the, the way he's supposed to. Like I give you an example, right? Uh, I had all the players, so they gave up their attacking third. Yeah, and they packed everybody back. What did they play? A, a four-five-one. Four-five-one. Yeah? And they packed everybody back in defense. Costa Rica. Yeah, Costa Rica. Five and four one. Five four one they were playing. Everybody else in Jamaica was saying, Oh, the Jamaican team, they passed the ball better. They passed the ball better because no one was tackling them. Of course. And they kept passing around back, side, side, back, side, side, back. No penetrative passes. And then when they kicked, and then eventually they kicked it long into nine players. You know? Come on. And this is what I'm talking about when you identify a system and you adapt your system to counter that system. So it was almost as if nobody saw that. And we're, we're both sitting in the stands and I remember at one point I had to run down halftime to, 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 um, to, to, and shout to Paul Hall. I said, Paul, you need to press more. You need to go forward, you know? Right. They didn't hear, so I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. Yes, right. So, so we're, we're excited. We're looking forward to the future things, but this, this national team starting again, um, they've said, in all fairness to them, they said that they only call the first wave for the first week. They're going to call another set next week. We'll see what <laughs> uh, the truth of it is, is if I had a team that went to Aston Villa and beat the FA Cup champions of Spain, I'd be very quick to be calling them. I'd be excited to get them into the national program and, and to see what they are able to bring to the table. You know, Zander Bicknell is now at um, Fortuna Cologne in, 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 in Germany. Dijon Richards is playing against Manchester City and scoring two goals and assisting one for a 3-1 win. 
um, you know, it's a no-brainer. Dante right. Perron is on Monday, on Sunday, to go to Toronto FC on trial. He's 16. Just turned 16 to So, why are you waiting to call these people in? In the past, they used to say that, oh, we don't know them. I remember when Leon and Kyle were in Belgium playing. Yeah, they're playing in the, the second team of Genk and performing at the highest level. And they're saying they don't know them. That's the reason why I made a, it a point of duty to play against the Premier League teams. Because the chairman of the technical committee who selects the coaches, etc., is Rudolf Speed. And he's also the owner and president of Cavalier Football Club. So when we play games against them, there's no way he can say he don't see the players or he doesn't know the players. So if he leaves them out, or is the coach who he selects leaves them out, he should be able to say, hey, those players over at Phoenix are high level. Take them. Um, so for me, that's it. But you know what the important thing now, Andy? Many of these guys, Isco, what 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 area you came from? Where what what's your community you came from? Jungle. Jungle. Which is what? Arnett, Arnett Gardens? Rima where? Yeah, um, called Tarrington Beach, but it's close Tarrington. to... Yeah. That's an easy neighborhood, right? Yeah. Things not easy, right? No. So, you see, Andy, when we can get a, a youth like Isco a chance, you're not just helping him. You're helping a whole community because if he makes it, he's going to give back and help. And even if he doesn't, He'll inspire some more kids from that era to believe that they can do something. And it may Absolutely. not be football. It may be, hey, I could become a doctor or I could become a big musician or, or I could become a lawyer or something, right? And these are the things that what we're doing. So for me, guys, we have to keep pushing. We have to keep pushing on. You understand? So Craig, no, no one, no, don't expect, don't expect that um, that um, everybody have the same uh way of thinking that you have especially yeah. in the in my hometown man um my hometown is 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 like if you go to jamaica um we we even have a place they call jamaica town in costa rica um and and when you come to when you come here and you study here and you be, your mentality is different you know and when you try to feed your own people with a with a men, with the right mentality to prosper, yeah. it's hard, man, to make everybody stick to the same plan. Yeah. So it, it it's hard, Craig. It's, it's hard to to make everybody understand. And not, and I know look, Isco, if you make it, uh, you know many all many kids are behind you, thinking that if Isco make it, why I can't make it? And you are already planting a seed there. So. Um, it's Craig. Look, man, I I feel you. I, I I'm you know I'm sorry that in Jamaica, you know, I thought this was only my country. <laughs> everywhere, but, but it's everywhere. Um, and look, look, you guys, man, just keep working, man. Just 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 keep doing. You got you guys in the right direction, yeah. You guys in the right direction, Isco and and Ayo. You guys in the right. You in Colorado. If they don't want to look at you to to call you to the national team, don't don't get stressed, man. Just keep working. Fight for your future. Behind you, there is a lot of kids that are looking up to you guys. The same kids from the academy, yeah. Um, and I will be the first first one to congratulate you guys when you when I see you playing in MLS. Thank you you gotta save me a you gotta save me a jersey though. I'm not going to Colorado. <laughs> So don't expect me to go to Colorado because I'm not gonna go to Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> I will be I will wait for you in Miami right here. Right? Okay, okay. <laughs> Inter Miami games. When you come here, I'll go there and see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. All right, Craig. Listen, I gotta pack, I gotta travel tomorrow to Georgia, to Atlanta. Um, it's always a pleasure, guys. God bless you guys. Um, I wish you guys the best. Keep working. I don't have to say that. I know you guys are working. And um, 
I hope Craig give me good news about you guys doing it over there. Craig, we, we keep moving forward. Let's keep up the good work, brother. Yeah? Head down, step forward, one step at a time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for respect. that. Risk, Thank respect, respect, brother. Respect. respect. Uh, respect. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Respect, <laughs> brother. Respect, respect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. See you guys. So, All right, guys, so we sign off. My, my thing to you is don't ease up. Don't stop working. Keep fighting. Don't take anything for granted. You understand? Yeah. Grateful for every opportunity and just keep pushing. You know? Yeah. I'm Thank you very much, Coach. And guide you. Yeah. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. Bye, Keith. Bye, Keith. Go for them. Don't know. Phoenix can. Never die. All right. One love. All right. Wait, end it, Mikey. Wait, wait, wait. Sure.